Hey guys, welcome to Power BI Zone and today we are going to see how we can calculate the running total both for date values as well as for non-date values. So let us concentrate first of all how we can do it for the date values. For that I have simply connected to AdventureWorks and I have imported a table called Fact Internet Sales and both order date and sales amount are present in this table. So let us see, these are contiguous sort of dates, 1st July, 2nd July and you are having different uh, years right so this is 2005 if you scroll down you'll have 2006 2007 and so on so what now let us straightforward see the logic what should be applied in order to calculate a running total before that let us see what is the running total right so you have the fir first value as 14,000 something and the second value is 13,000 something for 1st of July and 2nd of July respectively so if I say a running total for 2nd July, it will have the cumulative value of 14 plus 13, that is 27 something, right? That should be displayed as the 2nd July value. For the 3rd July value, it should be the sum of the previous 3 values. For 4th July, it should be from this till the previous 4 values and so on. For that, first of all, we will go ahead and create a simple measure for sales. Uh, let us call this as sum of sales and we will give sum of sales amount great and let us see what happens if we give an max of order date okay let us now try to pull this max of order date in the visual once you pull this in the visual, you will find that max of a particular row is that value itself. So if I say what is for the 4th row, if I say what is the max of 4th of July 2005, right? It is 4th of July 2005. So you have to tell Power BI, give me the values which are lesser than 4th of July. So what are those values? Lesser than or equal to 4th of July rather. So what are those values? 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th of July. These four values will come right so remember this logic and now we are going to create the main measure which is running total for date values so we will so guys let us now try to create the running total for dates we'll call that as running total for dates and we will say calculate calculate what calculate the sum of sales right so we have already created the measure sum of sales and now we have to give the logic within filter so we will write filter inside filter we have to remove all the filters that is applied to the order date so we will say all we will remove any filters which is applied to order date great okay now we are going to write the main logic we will say order date right order date is less than or equal to max of order date now what will happen over here is for each and every row a max will be calculated so if you go to the fourth row the max of this particular fourth row is 4th of july the max of fifth row is 5th of july right and so on so if you consider the 4th of july the logic says give me all the order dates which is less than or equal to 4th of july so what you will get first second third and fourth Hence, it will take these four dates into consideration and it will filter out the sum of sales only for these four rows and you should get the cumulative total on the 4th of July row itself. So, let me go ahead and end the calculate. Great. So, now let me go ahead and pull the RT for dates. Where is my measure? This is RT for dates. So, this is running total for dates. This is the value that I am getting right so is it okay so let us go ahead and sum 14 plus 13 this particular values if you sum these two values you will get 28408 right and then if you sum these four values 14 13 and 15 you will get this 
3421 and so on so this particular thing it remember there are other uh, things as well so if you go ahead and see for 31st of December 2005 you will see what is the cumulative total for that particular year but it does not stop over here it goes to 2006 1st of Jan 2006 right there are other uh, you know um, time intelligence functions like total YTD which we have discussed earlier what that particular thing does is it will stop in 2005 itself right and for 2006 1st of Jan it will start afresh but running total does not do that it actually goes from 2005 year to 2006 without stopping right till the last value so it will go till your last value okay so i hope you are clear with the running total for date values which is very simple uh, the running total for non-date values we are going to discuss in my next video so do not miss that and if you are liking my explanation guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also like my videos thank you so much